Welcome back, this is Baller Scooper with more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. I am joined as always by Dumpus and his Pokemon team. This time is comp comprised, composed, either way, of Bebo, Templar, Nibbler, Sandra, Rumpus, and Sanders. When we last left off, I had Tequila with me. Tequila is now in a box where she will be permanently, I am sure. Uh, but I have done some work with Bebo and Nibbler in particular. A couple other people got like one level, but Bebo is the one that I worked the hardest on, to be honest with you. I want to use Bebo, but Zubat makes that difficult. However, at level 16, uh, you do learn Bite. We also learned Supersonic along the way, but that's not nearly as important. Uh, the user generates odd sound waves that may confuse the foe. Accuracy of 55. That's not very good, but confusion is a good thing if you can land it, but it requires a lot of luck for it to be effective for you. They can't hurt themselves, though. It's not too bad, but it's not something you should rely on. Uh, then we have Bite. This is the move I went out of my way to learn. Uh, it is a dark type move, fortunately and unfortunately. Uh, the user bites its vicious fangs. It may make the foe flinch. Now, Bite was not, or sorry, Dark was not around in the first generation of the game. Bite was around, it was just a normal move because that makes total sense. Uh, in the first generation, it was a 10% chance to make the opponent flinch. In this game, it is 30%. So it's, it's a lot better, I would say now. However, because it is a dark type move, dark is new-ish. It's not in the first generation of games at, at, at all. It's just in this one. Dark is a special move, which means it'll be using the special attack stat here. Uh, however, it is useful against some types of Pokemon, particularly, uh, uh, not fighting, no, no, no. Uh, is Dark is weak to fighting, but Dark is strong against Psychic and Ghost. Um, psychic being the, the one that it was really designed for, but we'll go over why that is later. But as you can see, the power of 60 is why you want to get it, uh, even though the, uh, the special attack stat might not be where you want it to be. It's actually even. Now, I don't think that'll hold up too long. But hey, Special attack, bite should be good. Let's take a look at Nibbler, who I did get last time. Finally, another male Pokemon in the party. It is an adamant nature, which might actually be the best thing for a Rattata. It's at least up there. Uh, it is a nature that will give me higher attack and lower special attack, which is pretty damn good. It might not be the best. I haven't looked that much into how to get a good Radita, but that's got to be a good nature. Then we have uh, the ability of run away, uh, which is not a good ability. Uh, it makes escaping easier. In case you wanted to run away from a wild Pokemon, you have Nibbler up front, hit run, and you will always get away if that's what you want to do. Uh, we have pretty basic moves along the way here, except for that last one. Uh, we have seen all of these, I believe. Uh, tackle, Tail Whip, uh, Quick Attack, Hyper Fang, though, is the one that you want to get. You learn that at level 13. Uh, it has a very high power, considering uh, power of 80. Accuracy of 90, uh, not the most accurate thing, but that's fine. It more than makes up for that with power and how early you get it. Remember, level 13, that is hard to beat. Uh, the foe is attacked with sharp fangs. It may make the foe flinch. That is definitely good, but you have to go first in order for that to happen. So, Nibbler is in the party. Uh, I did get him over here in Route 4. I never did go over Pokemon availability here. But we have made it to Cerulean City, so let's explore this place a bit. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds amusing. Indeed it does. Ooh, shiny new bicycle. I want one. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Then what's the point of giving you one? I can get you a picture of a bike. It'll be the same thing for you. These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. I got plenty of money. I've been kicking ass all the way here. A plain city bike is good enough for me. After all, you can't put a shopping basket on a mountain bike. This is definitely a Japanese game, isn't it? No, 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 you don't go shopping with a bicycle. Not here. 
At least not in Southern California, where everybody has a car. I'm pretty sure there's five-year-olds with cars. Hi, welcome to our bike shop. Have we got just the bike for you? Dude, I got 4,500 Poke Box. That should be enough for like 45 bicycles. What do you mean a million Poke Box for a bike? He's got to be pulling my leg here. I'll take it. Sorry, you can't afford it. Thank you. Come back again sometime. He's serious. A million Poke Bucks for a bicycle? And you just have them out here? Like, I'm going to steal one. Like, if this was me, I'm, like, I'm going to steal it, take it back to another town, and sell it for a million Poke Bucks. Hell, I'll, I'll give it to you for half price. <laughs> 500,000. That'll be good enough. That slow bro wasn't there, you could cut down the small tree. That way you could get to the other side. I think there's a way around it, though. What the hell is he talking about? Oh, this down here. Here we find a slow bro. Slow bro took a snooze. Yeah, that'll tend to happen. Uh, we'll go over that guy later. Okay, slow bro, use Sonic Boom. Come on, slow bro. Pay, pay attention. Yeah, he's kind of a joke Pokemon. He's not too bad, but yeah, we'll go, yeah, we'll go over that later. Cerulean City, a mysterious blue aura surrounds it. That is a weird thing to say. All right, we'll go into this place here. Too much time, too little to do. Is nothing entertaining happening anywhere? I would recommend internet. Like, you need like five cc's of internet stat. Here though, we can go into the Poke Mart. Repel not only keeps bugs away, it also works on weak Pokemon. Apparently they thought Repel only worked on bugs. Put your strongest Pokemon at the left of the Pokemon list. If your first Pokemon is strong, Repel's effects is boosted. Like I said before, uh, it, whatever level your Pokemon is, it'll keep all levels uh, lower than that away from you. Do you know about rare candy? They don't sell it in shops. I think it makes Pokemon grow very quickly all of a sudden. Indeed it does. I don't like using those too often. I usually end up saving them, and that's not going to be any different this time. I'm not going to be using the, uh, the rare candies until pretty much the end of the game. Uh, well, we'll go over end of the game later. Uh, but they do have something new here, and that would be Super Potions. Super Potions heal your Pokemon for 50 HP. I will take a few of those. Uh, nothing else here is new uh, that I remember. No, indeed, there is nothing else new here. So I'm going to go ahead and sell everything else to them. And well, everything I don't need. Unfortunately, he won't take my moonstones off my hand. They're expensive, damn it. Uh, and I'll meet you back when that's done. Everything that I don't need is now gone. Let's continue exploring the town. I do have a lot of money for the time being. You're a trainer too? Collecting, battling, it's a tough life, isn't it? Not really all that tough. Here is the gym. I believe we went over that before. The leader is Misty, who is a tomboyish mermaid, who was definitely a girl I had a crush on in the anime. Didn't even look twice at Jesse. It was all about Misty for me for some reason. Bill had a lot of, has lots of Pokemon. He collects rare ones too. That Bill, I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. He's not above doing all sorts of things, I heard. Well, that sounds quite gross. Why don't you go upstairs and try trading Pokemon with your friends? Because my friends don't know how to connect to me right now. You could get a lot more variety by trading. Well, I'm sure they could, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to be trading anything. The Pokemon you get in trades grow quickly too. Yes, the Pokemon you get in trades try to impress you so they get levels really quickly. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? I do all the time. So, let's go ahead and leave the Pokemon Center. Nothing more for us to do there. Are we in here? Probably not. No, we were not. Let's talk to these people. My husband likes trading Pokemon. You're collecting Pokemon for your Pokedex, aren't you? Would you please trade with him? How does everybody know about this damn Pokedex? Hello there. Do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Poliwhirl is a Pokemon that we do not have access to just yet. It is a water type and we don't really have access to water types just yet. Would you agree to a trade for my Jinx? Now, not only would I recommend this trade uh, if you are playing along because Jinx is rarer, 
especially if you're trying to kind of complete uh, the Pokedex a bit. Uh, I think this is the only way to get a Jinx, is by trading him a Poliwhirl. Not only would I recommend it for that, I also like Jinx as a Pokemon better than I like uh, the Poliwag, Poliwhirl line uh, of Pokemon. But that that's just me, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the consensus is that uh, uh, Poliwhirl's evolution, Poliwrath, is better than Jinx. But I like Jinx. <laughs> well, if you don't want to, then again, yeah, I'm pretty much a big fan of Psychic. And Jinx is definitely part psychic. How you doing? Only skilled trainers can collect Pokemon badges. I see you have at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets, did you know? Now then, which of the eight badges would should I describe? We're not going to go over all of them at all. Uh, they will tell us when we, when we get them what they do. Uh, they all kind of increase your stats a little bit. They all uh, allow you to have Pokemon a little bit higher level, if you overlevel the, your Pokemon, they will stop listening to you. Just some of the time, I think it's half the time again, the game loves half, half the time they'll just say, no, I'm not gonna do that, and just loaf around. Come visit me anytime you wish. Uh, but that's not gonna be an issue for us. Uh, the only Pokemon that's exempt from that is uh, your starter. If you look here though, you can find a rare candy that is in all versions of the game. Feel free to get it. Once again, I will be hoarding those until much, much later. Like I said, end of the game, but end of the game is complicated. I can conco I concoct a variety of medicine from berry powder. Using good berry powder, I can make any kind of medicine. Now tell me, have you any interest in berries? I'm gonna say yes, but I don't think there's much I can do with this guy. Ah, good, for you then, I have just the thing. And we get the powder jar. Help us put the powder jar in the key items pocket. There's something new on the second floor of Pokemon Center at the direct corner. They installed a wireless adapter machine for crushing berries. This is where you come in. I have a favor to ask, one that I can entrust only to you. Could you make berry powder for me using that machine? Don't forget, the Pokemon is at the direct corner of Pokemon Center. So I'll concoct medicine for you if you bring me some berry powder. Don't forget, crush berries into berry powder and bring it to me. How many times does he need to freaking say it? Uh, that requires, as far as I can tell, wireless wireless, which I, I don't have like a wireless connection, which this game does not think I have at all, even though I do. Uh, the people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. All right, that is actually it for here in Cerulean City for the time being. As you can see, there's people out back there. That looks like Team Rocket to me. I see a giant R but this guy doesn't see him. Uh, we are actually locked uh, from going up here. Similarly, we're locked from going back to Mount Moon. If you wanted to go back, it's too late now. You're screwed. Let me make sure I have my Pokemon set up the way that I want, and I'll be back. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Let's head up here. There's a bridge. Uh-oh. Yo, Dumpus. You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me show you. Let me see what you caught, Dumpus. This guy's a dick. All right, and we are locked into a fight with Choo Choo, our rival, yet again. This time he has four Pokemon. He's going to start with his Pidgeotto. Uh, Pidgeotto is the evolution of Pidgey, uh, which we will never have. I put Nibbler out front because Nibbler needs some... Uh, well, Nibbler needs some experience. We're gonna start off with Hyper Fang. Let's see how good Nibbler is at this. And, oh, Pidgeotto is faster than us. That's not gonna be good. And the Sand Attack will not help either. Hyper Fang lands. Damn right it does. That's it? You kidding me? Hyper Fang again. Where he's gonna use a Gust. And he got a critical. Please, Hyper Fang. Thank you, Hyper Fang. We are going to need to pull Nibbler out from here. <laughs> that critical almost spelled my doom. Let's see, what are, what's good here? What's going to be good? We'll throw Templar out there. Templar should be fine. This, yeah, this is why I don't like Red uh, too much. All right, quick attack, as expected. Uh, just a pound should do it. Ooh, Mega Kick is normal. I forgot that. I thought it was fighting stuff. 
sounds like it should be a fighting move, doesn't it? All right, pound. Are you kidding me? Pound again. Quick attack coming my way. If I got a critical, that would have been it for Templar. <laughs> Pidgeotto is not easy. Not easy. There we go. Nibbler gets another level. Templar gets a chunk of experience. He's going to throw out his Rattata. I will switch. Uh, this time we're going to throw out Rumpus. We're just going to play smart here. We are going to play smart. Go, Rumpus. Karate Chop, please. Yeah, that's still normal. So Karate Chop should finish off his Rattata, never giving him a chance to use the Hyper Fang. Rumpus is so good. So good. What else you got? He's going to throw out his Abra. Ooh, Abra. Abra is one of my favorite Pokemon in the game, or at least one of my favorite lines of Pokemon in the game. And you can catch it soon, really, really soon. Uh, however, uh, his Abra is completely and utterly useless. I'm going to throw out, uh, let's throw out Nibbler. I apologize for the siren that's gonna be constantly going, but we will be fine, don't worry about it. Uh, Abra here is, uh, stupid um this is yeah it's a it's a psychic type it however is unevolved it if memory serves me correctly it's 15 level 15 that it evolves into uh cadabra which we will see because choo choo will have it um however abra never learns a move are you kidding me i took it out with one hyper thing Oh god, it's not a good showcase for my favorite Pokemon in the game. But uh, down it goes. Uh, the only thing that Abra knows is teleport, which is pretty much like running out of a fight. Uh, we are going to change Pokemon. Uh, we will change actually to... Uh, Sanders. Sanders should be fine. Uh, all Abra can do is teleport, which... Uh, gets you out of a battle. That's the only thing that it does in battle. But since you're in a trainer battle, it doesn't work. All right, out comes this Charmander. Charmander should be a Charmeleon at this point, but it is not. So we're going to Gust. He does have Ember now, though. Ember is not going to be good for us. It is faster than us, too? Really? Did not expect that. No, we have the same speed. And he goes for another Ember. I'm going to need to have to pull you out. Uh, we will throw in... We'll throw in Rumpus. This is going to be a tough fight, definitely. But it's one that I can maneuver around. A lot of people don't do this fight until after the gym. I like doing this first. And then a uh, Mega Punch. Should finish you off. Get a chance to show off my new moves. <laughs> Down goes Charmander. Never even got to use my uh, my Bulbasaur, so I'm just stayed out of this one. Hey, take it easy. You won already, and we get 288 Poke Box for defeating him yet again. Hey, guess what? I went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That had a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Poke Maniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. And off he goes to be a dick somewhere else. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. And we get the fame checker. Uh, this isn't all that useful, to be honest with you. A chatty gossip like you? That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. All right, this time I really am gone. Smell ya. Yeah, he is one of the biggest dicks in all of video games. I can't think of somebody that's just less of a nice person than he is. Uh, since he brought up the Pokedex, uh, we didn't get a chance to look at uh, Rarita. So let's take a look at that one. Bites anything when it attacks, small and very quick. It is a common sight in many places. It's not all that quick. Uh, but we were able to make it through that fight. That was particularly difficult. A lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Like I said, though, Abra. He didn't really show it off right, but Abra never learns a move. I'm actually hoping to get an Abra. 
I definitely need to heal. Um, yeah, we'll just go straight to the, the gym after this.